Hello, um, we're back and we're going to start the next lesson, uh, which is preparing your book prior to you publishing it. And I will go over step by step the method that I use. My name is Ty and I publish children's books as well as inspirational books. So I have another book that I'm about to publish and I wanted to share with you the process that I use. Now I use different formats and at different stages for my book. And the first one I'm going to open for you is the one page. Now, uh, for my children's books, um, they range in anywhere from, uh, 1400 to, um, 2000 words. And this is what I've prepared here, uh, for my children's book. And, um, I chose to um, use three sentences, uh, approximately three sentences, some a little more per page that goes with my book. So um, each, each paragraph will probably be about a different subject. So uh, the best thing to do would be to uh, start right away with putting your story down in words and determining um, what your story is going to be about the beginning, the middle and the ending. I'm not here to tell you how to write your story, um, but I'm just showing you the format that I use that I can transfer it quickly into the proper format of the KDB, KDP version. And um, this is what it looks like. One tool that you should use is Grammarly. Um, Grammarly will pick issues up that you as a reader and your other readers will not pick up. Uh, I do pay for the, the paid service of Grammarly. Um, but I, I do recommend that you pick, you get Grammarly for all of your books. Um, because there's no way for anybody to, um, pick up this many or this amount of errors, um, that you would have in the book. Then the next thing you want to do is you really want to come up with details about your book. So I came up with details. Um, I use the, uh, Lenape dictionary so that I can translate and use, um, some of the Lenape words so that my children can use, you know, learn some of the Lenape language and as well as, um, make a phonetic sound of it. Like grandmother is Uma and I'll make a phonetic sound meaning Uma and, uh, you know, so that we, they can read, uh, also, for the illustrator, I give a tremendous amount of details so that the illustrator is able to determine, you know, what should go into the pictures when he's doing my book. I give a really good, deep description of what I want to see in the book. And then in my particular books, I like to use a lot of the chakra colors, um, the Fibonacci sequence, uh, you know, the tree of life. And I described that to him and I gave him details and I, you know, in my very first book and I said, you know, can we please incorporate these colors in the book? Okay. So those are the book details. Okay. The third is the actual layout of the book that I downloaded from KDP. In the last uh, video, I had you download the paperback manuscript uh, templates. And if you don't know how to unzip a file, um, these, these are in a zipped file. So you click it, extract all, and it will pick a, a similar name and you extract. Then it opens in, inside that new file so that you're able to open it. So we're going in English. And my book exact is actually a seven by 10. And it gives you the book title and the format. And the reason why this is really important to use the layout of the page is set up for you page setup, so that the margins are in the right area. So you have your top margin, your inside margin, your outside margin, your bottom, and then you have a gutter margin of 0.14. So it mirrors it so that there's enough room on the inside of the pages 
so that your your words do not run off of the page so that's why it's important to use the templates for a seven by ten now this is if you're not going to use a PDF version now you can see that when you're looking at the screen the page on the on the right is actually going to be the page on the left you can see how the the margin is wide here and the margin is wide here you'll get used to um, your brain in reverse is what I call it actually if you if you shrink the screen a little you can see the pages in the middle will line up so that the margins on the middle pages are definitely going to be um, what those page what those margins are going to be so this is a 7 by 10 book so you will open that and then you will start with your Manu manuscript in the right format so you co copy and paste I'm going to copy this first sentence control C and I'm going to go back to my format seven by 10, enable the editing, and you gotta go through your dedication page and what your first page is gonna be, your acknowledgements, your chapter one. So from this point forward, I'm just gonna take all this out. Okay, and I don't need a chapter in this book because it's a children's book, and control V. And when I do control V, what I picked from my one page shows up. And then I, what I like to do is just continue. I'll take out all of this chapter information because I think it goes to like nine or 10 chapters and delete it. Okay. Now how you get to the next page. Also, you know, you may want to, you may want to, um, look at what kind of print they're giving you. Um, Times New Roman is a good one. Uh, and you know, I have a children's book, so of course I'm gonna do 14 or 16, so it's uh, easier for, for children to read. So this Times New Roman 14, I highlight the whole thing, or you can go to Home, Select All, which selects the whole entire, um, pick Times, Times New Roman, and then pick 14. That's another way around. And I'll create my paragraph and try not to indent with the regular indent. You can change the spacing. Uh, let's do make this a two. If you do uh, double spacing, you really don't need to indent, but you, you know, it looks nicer if you indent two. And then the first line is an indented. I would, I recommend looking up how to structure a book and learn that you are self-publishing that means you are learning this as you go along and you need to um, teach yourself and i can give you some websites in the description below um, or some descriptions of how how to learn how to um, structure your book and this book is called he talks to per he talks to birds a kohansi lenape legend this book picture size is 7.125 by 10 and a quarter, which is the size of the children's books. And this gives you my last edited date. I just received my illustrations from the, uh, from the illustrator. So I'm ready to put this book together and we're going to publish this together. So I spell it out exactly what pages I want. I want a preface page, um, for him to illustrate uh, this book belongs to page. And then this would be a, a blank page, which is a dedication. And then I have my, my Lenape pronunciation guide with my phonetic, you know, way to say it, my copyright, all rights, all rights reserved. I leave a space for the ISBN because with, uh, you'll, we'll go into this further with, uh, Amazon KDP, you can have them assign you an ISBN, which is a number that your book must have in order to be sold. Um, in any format and you know I found um, 
a to me a perfect description of you know telling that it's all copyrighted and no part of the book may repro be reproduced and then since it's a children's story i also like to say this book is a work of fiction and the names and characters and business and all are, are not um, meaning or not of actual resemblance to any actual persons living or dead um, just to protect myself and then I like to give notes um, a lot of notes uh, not just the detail page but notes that are in this book um, you know notes this is the same Lenape village he's 12 years old uh, many colors are fine in this book because I like the colorful um, keep combining the other themes from the other books um, so grandmother is in her 50s, some gray hair. Uh, the bird is a female bird. Um, you know, there's a, we live on a flat village along the creek. Um, no, I told him no hanging gourds until the end of the book. So this is during the pre-European time. Same hidden meanings as the other books, the Fibonacci, the Flower of Life, the Chakra Colors, etc. I gave him total details in the beginning. There's more. There's the nine code and other things. And, you know, and then I let him know if there's any other thing that they don't, he doesn't understand, so please let me know. So then I label the next one. It's going to be a picture. Now, it looks a little off, but you want the picture to be on the right-hand side because on the right-hand side... When we publish the book, the picture is going to actually be on the left-hand side adjacent to the story. So this is what those sentences look like. Okay, I uh, will format these to make sure there's only two spaces. So there is. Um, there's many different form formats that you can use. You can use all block with an extra space. But I found that it's an easier reading book if I have two spaces, not a, right, not a proper indent, but two spaces starting with each paragraph. Now, actually, the first paragraph of a book does not get indented, only the second paragraph. So I will go over this many times prior to turning this into the actual book. Then the picture. So there we go again, the indentation on the first paragraph. So you have to fix some of these Uh, errors that are in there on this live version on this version prior to you transferring it over it makes it so much easier because I can open Grammarly I can open Grammarly on my on my page and then I can use Grammarly on this final version so I don't have to do it more than once so I will make sure that each one of these has their proper paragraph and proper indentation because it's then it's easier for me to transfer into the final version uh, that are that is going to show the tables or the yeah the uh, tables that I insert so that I can create a PDF version so this is this is my book I actually copied and pasted each one of these paragraphs that we had from our first one pager okay into the book so now I'm editing the actual word copy that I want to use when I'm editing then I'll open Grammarly in this final version of the book and it tells me I have 28 issues and this is the format that you want to use so um, right now I guess the next step would be to start your one page and get all your word copy on as much as possible read it read it three or four times run Grammarly on this one uh, find out how many words this is a children's book 1669 words and that's um, going to be a 24 illustration page book um, so start writing and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.